like you said, there's so much of life in the Amazon that we don't, a uh, creature with no names. <laughs> Tons of them. We could go out on a night walk right now and I could show you something that, you know, you, I've done it. You, 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 you pick up a bug and you go, that doesn't look right. <laughs> that's not right he's got three heads yeah you know and then you send it to to the, the the greatest expert on that genus of insects and and they go look i got no idea and you're talking to a world expert and it's like that's it and then 50 percent of the life is up in the canopy and so like we started climbing the trees like rock climbing like what alex honnold does like well like i'll climb up 50 feet and then i'll put a safety like i'm basically trad climbing and then I'll climb up another 50 feet and I'll have JJ belaying me from below. And then he'll be like, oh, look, a snake. I'm like, JJ, pay attention. Like, yeah. You get up there and the the branches are as thick as this table. So you can like walk around freely. Oh, uh, It's like total like avatar when they're in the floating islands. Like you can, you can go run around if that's what you want to do. Bromeliads, orchids, cactuses, because up there it's against the sun. So it's a different environment up oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and then you start seeing lizards and snakes and birds and things that aren't down on the ground. Mm -hmm. And so how many scientists have actually gotten to really spend time up there and really inventory the life? And that's, that's why when you hear about, you like get into like a taxonomical discussion of how many species there are on earth. They're like between, you know, 10 and 30 million. And it's like, well, that's a big, <laughs> it's a big swing. What about stuff on the ground? So you mentioned some insects, what about bullet ants? So it's supposed to be the most painful bite in the world. You've been bitten by one? Seven or eight times, yeah. <laughs> what does it feel like? Okay, so the first time that we ever did bullet ants, um, JJ said, you know, okay, this is what we're gonna do. He goes, you know, it's bullet ant roulette. We're gonna get a bullet ant and you get like chopsticks. You like pick up this bullet ant and they're big, they're big and they're tough. Like you, he goes, we're gonna put our forearms together and we're gonna drop the bullet ant and clamp our forearms together and just rub. And whoever whoever it takes, it takes. Yeah. Of course, JJ did not get stung and I did. And it hurts every bit as much as they say it hurts. It really let me have it. And then and then I was like hitting my arm against the table to try and like kill it or get it off, but it was holding on and just like really injecting the venom. And uh, yeah, really letting you have it. And then it, it, it travels up and it goes into your like lymph nodes and, and into your here and you get a headache and, and I think the 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 brilliant thing about the 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 venom of a bullet ant is that it makes you feel like like this this feeling of alarm. It makes you feel like something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You don't just go, "Ow, this hurts!" Like it's like a bee sting, or you go, "Ah, oh, this really hurts on my hand." Mm -hmm. It's like, no, 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 no. Your whole nervous system is freaking out, and you start sweating, and then you get cold, and then you're tired, and then you get a little blurry vision, and it's like that's actually that bad. I mean, now after six or seven, I get bitten and I'm like, kind of okay. So it's a full hiking. body, full mind experience. It's a full body, full mind experience. But then there's places in the Amazon where they, uh, you know, stick their hand in a glove with like 70 of them. Right. And I think Steve-O did that, which I, I would, I just don't understand how you could do that without going into complete anaphylactic shock and dying. Cause one really sucks. <sighs> Uh, well, just like just like we said, with animals and with humans, there's different kinds. There's different Steve, kinds. Steve, Steve is definitely a special, unique. <laughs> the first kind of, of his species. 